morning everyone we're back at Universal and my we I mean me family's back at the room swimming and I get bored swimming so figured I'd come do some stuff in the park so we are headed into studios let go I'm gonna go on rip ride rocket single rider Just did Rip Ride Rocket and I got the secret song again. This time I changed it up and I did Rainbow Connection by Muppets. And it was very like relaxing. Like, ah, oh. it was cute. I liked it. Still like my Billy Joel more. But it was cute. So now I don't know where I'm headed. It's very hot today. I am sweating like a monster. Let's see. Everyone's currently waiting for their dragon. They're all just waiting with their phones. All right, so as you can see from the sweat dripping down my face, I ran all the way here from Rip Ride Rocket because for the entire vacation we've been here, I've been following Universal's Twitter because they always do like giveaways and they did one today and, and I folded all the way from Rip Ride Rocket. I came all the way over here. I've been following their tweets for the entire vacation we've been here, which is this is day 16 and of course it was for a Slytherin prize which I am and I missed it by seconds like as the girl got up I was right there I saw him and they started screaming so they must have just like seconds I'm really really upset and now I'm sweating like a monster because it's so hot out because I, I was running I'm so upset I really really wanted something I needed a few minutes to sulk that I didn't win but now I'm gonna head back in to ride Gringotts. I stopped into Sugar Plum Sweet Shop because I haven't had some sugar sour candy in a while and I did the Build Your Own, which is by weight, but with my annual pass discount, it came to 350, so a normal little treat price. Next ride, Revenge of the Mummy. Only a five minute wait for both Regular line and single rider, so I'm probably gonna go on the regular line so that way I know I get seated right away. The other day I used the big lockers for my bag because I didn't think the small ones would hold, but today I did and it held my camera, which I can't show you because I'm using it, but it has like the little tripod on it and my camera. It held my freestyle cup and hook and then it held this kind of bag. It's a little flat, so that's probably why. We all fit perfectly. Family is out of the pool and I am leaving the studios now. We are gonna head to the Disney park, so I am done for Universal for the day. Magic Kingdom, you are always beautiful. Stop Adventureland. Time for Tiki Room. Version, I guess you consider it the newer version, but then they got rid of it because too many people complained. 
I missed that. It, it put a little little pep into it. This one's very old. So that one was like an in-between of the two, so like I liked it. I wish they would bring back an updated, fun version. What do you think? Ready to go see our pirates. Swabbies, what may I offer for these hearty hens? Every one an egg layer. Marvelous baby laying golden egg. But lay there, you bilge rat. <laughs> oh, quit your clucking. The gentlemen want the rum. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Over here in Adventureland, they have the cheeseburger egg rolls again. Chris is trying the cheeseburger egg rolls. They were seven fifty for two, and they were tiny. They were tiny, yeah, like about that big. And uh, I don't think it tasted like a cheeseburger. At one point, I tasted a little bit of pickle, but it was. Meh. I wouldn't get it again. They're very greasy. Hmm. Next up, a haunted mansion. Just got off a of haunted mansion, and Bradley's starting to get at that age that he's a little more aware of the ride, so we just talk him through the entire ride. Like, oh, look at the, so many books, they're moving. Uh, oh, who's on that chair? It looks like Donald Duck. Like, you kind of just talk him through it, and then he's fine, and he loves the hitchhiking ghost. So when that part comes up, he does it with them, he's very excited, and I think it helps that he's been on it so many times already, but if you, if you talk them through it, to not look at the scary parts, then he was fine. I would, if you've never been here before and you've never ridden a road haunted mansion and you're apprehensive about your toddler, your child, because you know that they might be scared. Like I know I was like eight years old and I was still scared to go on it. Then now, we didn't back then, but now you have YouTube. So you might think that you're like ruining it for them, but at least they know like, oh, that's it? Oh, I can't, I'm not gonna be scared of that. And then yeah, they'll and go on it. Bradley likes it. Uh, two because he likes the song because we watch Disneyland fun, Disney sing along oh, all the time. So that song is in it. So he that's how he knows the song. So once that song comes, he's like, yeah. Which and that's the scariest part I think of the whole ride. Yeah. So just use YouTube to your advantage if you think your kid's gonna maybe a little bit scared. It, it, I'm telling you, it'll help. Oh, mom. Who's that now? Oh, so that's my friend Niles. That's Fraser's brother, Niles. <laughs> We've gone the entire trip without seeing Hall of Presidents, so I guess it's time for us to do it. Great moments in history, the Great moments in history, but just the American hearts. Oh, Thomas Jefferson. Hi, ho, Jefferson here. John Adams. Hey, that's me. And the highly quotable Benjamin Franklin. Ah, Ben Franklin's here. A penny saved is a penny earned. And if at first you don't succeed, then skydiving is definitely not the sport for you. <laughs> Mom and I are sitting here, people watching. Our favorite thing to do while we're in the parks. Living the life. Living the life. <laughs> 